so I'm just going to quickly add in um, hair and fur. So basically when working with hair and fur uh, in 3ds Max with Corona, you need to add Corona hair mo modifier. So basically it pretty much uh, makes your hair a little bit, uh, well, easier to use. Starting uh, this model with just hair modifier is going to uh, add this uh, fuzzy little fella. And you can instantly see that, um, well, it doesn't look good. So let's just add um, custom modifier for our hair and fur. So uh, what I need to do first is add one of materials to our teapot. So it's not green any longer. And we need to control the uh, color of our hair uh, using a special or let's say custom um, map that is going to be used uh, in our uh, 3ds max so you need to uh, go to custom shader and i'm going to apply a custom shader to this model so uh, luckily corona has this uh, nice library that we're going to use a lot and uh, we can just use one of those hair uh, types to actually set something up uh, quickly and I'm going to increase the hair count. I'm going to uh, now do it like 50 per uh, uh, thousand. Um, let's just scale those down to 50% so uh, we don't have uh, this type of uh, fuzz fuzzy uh, thing. And also, what is really cool about this modifier, but it also um, requires a lot of uh, resources, is that you can actually comb those hairs. So, okay, you can actually uh, use this uh, combing, uh, combing tool to move your uh, hair to a position th uh, that you wish uh, the hair to actually be in, or you can use any other method. But remember, using hair and fur is very resource uh, consuming so it's going to take a little bit uh, a smaller or longer while to uh, render out any fuzzy uh, things but you can actually create those uh, teapots with hair um, as long as uh, you uh, try to uh, keep those values reasonable and you can also use this on any kind of uh, let's say blanket uh, or jacket uh, if you want to add in the fur on your uh, furniture um, as some kind of rag or something so i'm going to let this render for a second what you're going to love uh, when working with any type of uh, renders that you're going to create is working with bloom and glare so i'm just going to go totally overboard uh, with this one to better show you what i mean so i'm going to add 50 so no it's actually too much to actually enjoy this effect so basically you can see that we've got this um, morning type of effect with this bloom coming through this window we're going to use this option a lot uh, in your renders to make them more appealing um, in the videos about lights we talk uh, how to actually set those up and uh, what I really like about hair and fur is that you can actually add in this randomization almost instantly. So it looks pretty believable uh, to me. So uh, I hope that you actually see that um, it's uh, hairy and fuzzy. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's the cutest teapot ever. So guys, thank you again and bye.